Hey, Lori Smith here of DavidLaurieSmith.com. I certainly appreciate you spending your time with me here on my blog today. And I wanted to chat a little bit about what engagement versus pitching someone means, what that difference is. I'll be right back with you. Let me start by saying this. People don't like to be sold. Really, people don't like to be sold. And people in business are always selling something. So we need to learn the verbiage that we can use to engage someone instead of pitching someone and making them feel like they're being sold. And that can happen very simply with just what you choose to say. Um, generally, when we lose a sale, it's because of something that we have said, not something we've done, right? But on occasion, you can say the right thing to the wrong person or the wrong thing to the right person and still get a sign up if somebody's excited and you're enthusiastic. But I want to help you along that track so we don't get caught in that pitch thing, right? Um, engagement is a, is a better way to get somebody to chat about your opportunity with you and to be open-minded to it. I learned this from a guru that you guys, I'm sure most of you know, Big Al. Um, if you're not subscribed to him, you're going to want to get some of his books, that sort of thing. He's phenomenal, funny to listen to. If you ever get a chance to go to one of his events, make sure you do it because it's a, a great time and he makes a lot of sense. So, um, and also there's a link down below here to his blog if you if you're interested. So, what can we say that will open somebody's mind instead of saying, hey, I have something you need to look at. You can make a lot of money. Or, um, hey, my product is going to do A, B, and C, and D for you. You've got to try it because you're going to really need it. So instead of pitching our product and opportunity, let's think about engagement, how we engage somebody in taking a look at our opportunity, right? Um, instead of saying those things that I've said before, think about um, how you can say something. Maybe when you're sitting at the Thanksgiving dinner table and you have family around you and friends and they're all engaged in, in idle chat, right? We don't want to break in and start selling somebody something, um, especially on a day of gratitude, right? <laughs> but what we can do is say things such as, um, I made sufficient money this year, but I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be better next year. Right? Somebody may say, hey, so, you know, what are some plans that you might have to do that? Um, tell me what didn't work for you last year and engage people in conversation. Um, if people are talking about, I want to spend less time at work. Um, I didn't get to go on vacation with my children. Well, hey, what if you could fire your boss? Wouldn't that be great? Okay, we need more time to spend with family. Yep, we do because we're around the table once a year. We could get together more than that. We just need more time to spend with family. Um, geez, don't you think school is expensive? Children are expensive, right? So another, another way to engage people there because most people have children and most people know how expensive it is to raise children. Maybe somebody is um, talking about their job and they're not enjoying their job, right? So what if you said something like, life is too short to, to do something you don't like to do? Yeah, people are, are going to agree with you, right? The cost of living is so high, right? So can you see the difference between saying something like, um, hey, do you want to come make some money with me? Or, hey, I'm in, I have this thing that I'm going to make so much money, I need to show it to you. You'd be super good at it. Right then, people are putting up their, their stop sign saying, whoa, wait a minute, I don't want to be sold. So I hope this makes sense. And, and you know, this is a quick little blog, but I had just some thoughts, some things that I learned from Big Al, and I wanted to pass those on to you to help you understand the difference between engagement and pitching someone. There's a big difference. Nobody likes to be sold. And it's a much more easier and simplified way 
to show somebody your product or an opportunity if they have self-inspired themselves to take a listen to what you have to say. Now, when this person is self-inspired to listen, your message is easily easier to be accepted and your message won't be wasted. So thanks for joining me today. I hope this helped. Don't forget to comment below. Let any Tell us any of the things you like to say to use to open up the minds of people that you are um, prospecting or your prospective clients. And um, together, everyone achieves more. So we're all in this team together of network marketing. And I love what Eric Worre say says. It's just simply a better way. Ciao for now.